In the fourth installment of Design Your Own Subwoofer Box, I'll show you how to use the woofer selection tool. If you've already got your heart set on a particular driver, then you don't need to use this tool. But if you're trying to decide between uh, two or more subs, then this tool will save you a lot of time. Without having the woofer selection tool, you would need to actually go through the box design process for all the subs that you're thinking about using. So that can take uh, quite a while. The woofer selection tool saves you a lot of time. All you need to do is enter the teal and small parameters for each of the subs that you're thinking about using and you'll get some instant information about how those subs will work for you without having to go through the full design process. So in part one we had chosen the Infinity 1252W 12 inch sub. So let's just put the uh, numbers in for that. So uh, the spec sheet showed us that FS was 24.23, QTS 0 0.48, and VAS 3.48 cubic feet. So now that we've entered that uh, information, uh, the rest of this tool just tells us how well this driver will work for us. So this first number here, sealed and ported base response figure of merit. Well this is just kind of a thermometer telling you how deep the uh, base will go for this driver compared to other similar drivers. So the answer for this one is 72. Well a exceptionally poor driver will be down near the zero end of the scale an exceptionally good driver will be up near the 100, 80 to 100 end of the scale. So 72, that's a good number. Uh, estimated free air base response. Well, that's for the case in a, a car where you're using a sub without a box. You've just got that sub mounted uh, in the uh, uh, underneath your back window and there's actually no box. The trunk is the box, so it's a very large sealed box. And so this just tells you for that situation your base response will go down to 45.4 Hertz. This next line says this driver is best suited for sealed or ported applications. Well some subs are really only suited for a sealed box, others are only suited for a ported box. This uh, Infinity driver can be used in either sealed or ported depending on uh, how deep the base you need to uh, you're trying to achieve. This line here <clears throat> says use a port only if the box volume exceeds 1.6 cubic feet. Well, <clears throat> as we saw in the uh, part one, you want to seal a small box and port a large box. And this number right here, 1.6 cubic feet, is the boundary between where you want to shift from a small sealed box to a large ported box. So if you want to build a box that's, that's less than 1.6 cubic feet, it should be sealed. If you want to build a box that's larger than 1.6 cubic feet, it should be ported for this particular Infinity Sub. Uh, this last uh, estimated box requirements tells you about what you can expect in base response uh, for sealed and ported boxes. So if you're shooting for 40 Hertz, which is my typical goal, uh, this driver would give you 40 Hertz with a, about a 0.83 cubic foot box. If you want to go down to 30 Hertz, you would need to go with a 2.27 cubic foot ported box and these are just rules of thumb. To get the exact numbers you really need to use the box design tools but this just gives you kind of an approximation for what to expect when you go through the design process. So for this driver if you were shooting for 40 Hertz you could expect to meet that with about one cubic foot. For this example, I've chosen a Rockford Fosgate for my contending driver. So it's uh, another 12 inch sub. It's the uh, Rockford Fosgate R1S412. So I looked up the uh, spec sheet on Crutchfield for that and 
uh, the number, the teal small parameters for that are 21.6 for FS, 0.49 for QTS, and they gave VAS in liters, so I'll change the units first, and it's 195 liters. And just for curiosity, that's about 6.9 cubic feet. So, uh, the uh, figure of merit for this driver is 61. Well, the infinity was 72. So this is actually not quite as good as the infinity driver as far as how deep the base will go for a particular volume uh, box. Uh, the free air base response, 39.7. So that's a little bit better. So if you're, if you're using this in a free air application, this would be a better choice. But uh, most applications use a box, so um, in which case that number doesn't matter. The figure of merit would be more important. It says, this driver is best suited for sealed applications. Well, that will become clear in a minute. And it says, use a port only if the box volume exceeds 3.31 cubic feet. Well, the reason this is best suited for sealed is that uh, the point at which you want to switch to port it is 3.31 cubic feet. That's a very large box. And so, uh, for practical purposes, this is a sealed driver type of, uh, or sealed box type of driver. And if you look in the table here, to get 40 hertz, you would need 1.31 cubic feet. Well, that's uh, bigger than you needed with the uh, Infinity driver. And if you want to get that down to 30 hertz, you need a 3.57 cubic foot box, which is very large to try to fit in a car. So, once again, the point of this tool is just to save you the time of having to go through a complete box design with the box design tool and, so, and possibly even the port design tool. You can quickly compare the two, three, four subwoofers that you're looking at.